Okay, we are back and we are going to just go briefly through module three for you just to make sure, highlight some things that you need to make sure that you are going to view or read or look at. So again, this module is methods to build partnerships using informal and formal communication. You want to read chapter seven, eight, and nine in your textbook. There will actually be two instructional videos here after I'm done with this one. Your module three lesson, you want to go through each part of this. It talks about the introduction, your objectives for this module, some lecture notes that are helpful, some uh, your reading assignment, some web links. Um, so these are really great web links. They are also, I believe, the same ones in the PowerPoint. This specifically is a wonderful video on it's a teacher's guide to a parent-teacher conference. It is excellent. I want to make sure that you take the time to watch that, as well as several of these other videos. So then, um, so that is module three lesson. The PowerPoint that was in the video earlier video is right here. Um, some family newsletter samples and ideas are listed here, just some good ideas. You will be doing a family newsletter as part of your family engagement plan. So here are some examples for you. Um, and then some great clips, um, video clips there as well. A discussion forum, a module three discussion forum, which is um, you're gonna choose two of these four topics to discuss with your classmates. Um, make sure you understand the grading for the that and make sure your initial post is done by a particular time and your final post at a different time. Um, the family engagement plan part for this particular module, the things that you'll be doing, you're going to be doing a communication with your parents um, and this is section four in the family engagement plan but you're going to prepare parent information for your program. This information can take a form of a newsletter, a bulletin board, or even a website. Remember to make the presentation format appealing to parents using artwork and color, as well as an easy to read format, including all of the following information in a newsletter, bulletin board, or website. So here you have program news, classroom news, special events, a brief article on a child development topic. Again, that's a brief article. Contributions from children, so making sure you include a child's artwork or a child's story or maybe something funny that a child said or maybe you might be saying you might have asked each child in the classroom a specific thing and you included that in this communication venue. Um, additional ide ideas that you de deem relevant to the program include those. Now in order to receive an A or an exceptional on this section of the family engagement plan, You'll need to include more than one type of communication. Therefore, if you choose to do more than one of the above communication venues, whether that's a newsletter, bulletin board, or website, all of the above information right here must be contained in each of the information venues you choose. Be sure the information conveyed is sensitive to all cultures, family compositions, time and financial constraints, and is inclusive. Utilize information discussed in this class in your textbooks and submit at least one newsletter, bulletin board, or website in English and translate it into Spanish or another language of your choice that would be relevant to your situation. And then cite any sources used in APA format. Again, if you would like an A or the exceptional or exceeds expectations, you will want to do more than just one but include all this information. Um, if you're going to do a bulletin board, um, you can actually create the bulletin board. You can either do it on an actual bulletin board and take a picture of it and submit your picture, or you can do it on like one of those um, presentation boards and then take a picture of it and present it as well. So one of those two ways. Um, so you actually do need to create the bulletin board, create the newsletter, and create a website. And again, you need to actually do each of those. If you're going to do, I mean, you only have to do one of them, but in order to see, receive an A, you have to do more than one. And then you do have to provide whichever venue you use, uh, also a portion, a, a sample of it in Spanish or another language of your choice. So not only one in English, but also one in Spanish as well. Okay. 
Again, if you have any questions about any of this, please make sure you email me um, and I'll get back with you as soon as possible. So that's your family engagement plan part. And then journal writing number three. Here is something to read about family conference tip sheet. And then uh, another uh, family engagement plan portion is your parent teacher conference agenda and role play. Again, that's related to chapter nine. You're also doing some teacher tips. This is sections five and six in the family engagement plan. So each person will give us will be given a scenario of child or family characteristics with either teacher or parent questions and or concerns. You're going to choose from the scenarios below and use this scenario to guide you in preparing an agenda to plan for a parent teacher conference. Include the components that will be addressed in the conference, such as welcoming the parents, allowing time for feedback, and developing goals. Be sure to indicate the approximate length of time that will be spent on each component. It's part of the agenda. And remember to use the sandwich approach, whereby you always start with positive things about the child, then discuss concerns, and end with more positives. The plan should reflect a conference that will last approximately 30 minutes and indicate what would happen by time periods during the 30-minute conference. Prepare for and participate in a parent-teacher conference role play within the classroom setting. Utilize information discussed in class in your textbooks and include the following information. So your agenda or outline of the topics to discuss with times for each section of the agenda. Um, and then your role play. So you're going to write out exactly what both the teacher and the family member might say in narrative format, like kind of like you would read in a play where you have the parent and then what they would say and then the teacher and what they would say. Um, and remember to show sensitivity and respect of individual family needs and encourage a positive reciprocal relationship between parent and caregiver. And at the end of your role play, include how you would follow up with this family based on this conference. Cite any sources used in APA format. And this, you're going to choose one of these scenarios, okay, to be a part of your parent-teacher conference, to be based on your parent-teacher conference. And then your teacher tips. So based on your previous scenario from the parent-teacher conference, collect five to ten teacher tips in relation to working effectively with the family from your scenario. So what are some things teachers might need to know to work effectively with that family that is based on your scenario? And your teacher tips can be located by interviews, you can CCR and R, or web resources, but use at least three different types of sources. Be sure to cite your source for each tip you collect. So again, you need five to ten teacher tips. Um, things to help teachers with that particular um, topic of, in the scenario. Okay, so that is part of your family engagement plan. So that is this family engagement plan, parent teacher conferences, agenda and role play, and then here are the scenarios again if you'd like them separate. And then chapter 7, chapter 8, and chapter 9 quizzes. Okay, so if you, again, if you have any questions or concerns, please email me, and I hope you have a great Module 3.